Hey guys, so today's video is for the aspiring models and also for those models who have never attended modeling open call auditions. So today I'll be talking about what to bring and what to expect when you go for a modeling open call audition. If you want to know how to go about it, what are the tricks, the do's and the don'ts, please watch the video till the end. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Get Groomed with Chow. Today's video is specially dedicated to the aspiring models or photo models who wishes to join modeling agency but are clueless in what to wear, what to bring and what to expect when you go for modeling open call or an audition for models. Please note down the following pointers because believe me this will be very helpful. I have been working as a talent scout for almost 8 to 9 years in my life. So what I am looking for while scouting a model or what the modeling agencies are looking for, these are some of the following pointers that you might like to keep it in mind the next time you go for a modeling open call. And the first one being keeping it simple. It's very important. Yes, you heard me right. Simplicity is the key. Make sure when you're going for a modeling open call, be it a male model or a female model, you start it with your hair. Make sure your hair looks neat and clean. It's washed and conditioned properly. No crazy hair colors. Girls do not do something extra like curling your hair. Keep it simple and natural. Boys, if you want to clean shave your beard, you can do that. If you don't want to clean shave, Please make sure at least it is trimmed properly so that it looks neat and tidy. These are very important. Number two, make sure your nails are manicured properly. Your nails should be clean. Girls, if you're planning to put any nail polish, please avoid. No nail color. How your makeup should be. As I've already said, keep it very simple, keep it very minimalistic. Do not put any crazy loud colors, do not make any smoky eyes or eyelashes and same goes for boys, keep your makeup routine very simple, put on your sunscreen, um, maybe a little bit of concealer, if you have dark circle, you can put a little bit of compact powder, the agency or the agents wants to see your natural skin, how you look, so they would not really appreciate if you have layers of makeup on your skin so keep it very clean now let's talk about what you should wear now this is very important well simplicity is the key as i've already told you so please avoid loud colors do not wear any bright color stick to the basics black gray or white for both male and female models who wishes to look their best in a modeling open call audition stick to the three colors and you're in the right path if you're wearing uh, girls if you're wearing a tank top or a classic v-neck a scoop neck make sure it fits you like a glove and it should not be loose if it's loose you can tuck your t-shirt inside your jeans uh, same goes for boys make sure if you're planning to wear a v-neck or a round neck black white or gray t-shirt it should fit you properly, should not be loose. Now talking about your jeans, of course you can go for black or navy blue as long as it is not cropped, fringed or any crazy thing as such. I personally prefer black because black not only it looks presentable but also it shows off your figure pretty well. So this is what I'll suggest to you in terms of your look. Now it comes to shoes and heels, shoes for boys and heels for girls. So girls, I'll start with you first. When it comes to your heels, maximum of 4 inches is a must. Now when it comes to color, please do not go for anything sparkly or rhinestone or bedazzled. Keep it simple, a pair of nice black stilettos, wedges would be good. Boys, again, don't go for your sports shoes or sneakers. Go for a dress shoe or any good pair of boot or a casual shoe will also do. As long as it is simple and not too crazy. 
Now let us talk about what to bring when you go for a modeling open call. Well, the first thing that you can bring along with you is a backpack where you can have your essentials like your portfolio, your phone, your wallet, etc. Number two is very important as I've mentioned it to you just now, your portfolio. Now, I know many of you, especially the budding models, might not be very comfortable in investing in a large chunk of money in a portfolio. But don't you worry, I'll make it very simple for you. Well, a um, lot of the agencies nowadays, they prefer Polaroids. And what are Polaroids? Those are your self-click pictures. If you have a good digital camera or even a good phone camera, then um, you can click those pictures by yourself. Polaroids can be easily broken down into three primary categories. The first one is the portrait, that is your face close-up. The second are the profile, that is your left angle and your right angle. The third being the full length. And you can click this Polaroids very simply in an outdoor location, especially in the daytime uh, when the sunlight is there because the natural light would be the best lighting for you. And what you need to wear, that is, I have already mentioned it to you, keeping it very simple, you know, either black, gray or white with a pair of nice fitted navy or a black jeans with the shoes or the heels that I've mentioned it to. You can carry also your sneakers or your sandals or your flip flop uh, because uh, this one goes for the ladies actually because you don't need to wear your heels throughout the day unless your name has been called. You can carry the sneakers or your comfortable pair of shoes, but remember, switch to your heels before you enter the agency. And once you're done and once you're out of the side of the agency, you can put back your sneakers on. Then comes carrying your own light snacks or your protein shake or your water bottle. Uh, because at times, uh, sometimes it takes an hour, two hour, three hour, or maybe a whole day uh, for the entire online uh, casting process to, you know, take over. Now, let us talk about what to expect when you go for a modeling open call. Well, uh, typically when you enter, there's an assistant to guide you with a clipboard or a sheet of paper and they will ask you to sign it in and you will be putting your name, uh, your location, your email address, your contact number in case they have forgotten to take your information prior. And once you've signed in or filled up the form, you may take your seat. Well, I personally don't prefer when a lot of candidates, they are on their phone. It's better if you're not on your phone because it, it looks very unprofessional when you're on the phone, especially during an audition. And uh, also, you can uh, keep a very close eye, you can hear what others are talking about, especially uh, if any candidate who has gone to the audition before you, you can get some pointers, hear uh, their conversation uh, to the agents so that you can understand, okay, how long or short the conversation was and it can be like, okay, let's see how our conversation goes. If your conversation is a little longer, and they ask you for your photos, your videos, um, which they didn't ask the other candidate who went before you, then you can be like, all right, maybe I have potential to get signed in by this agency. So uh, be just aware of your surroundings and don't be on your phone because you never know, you might um, pick up some pointers which you can benefit from in your next modeling open uh, call audition. In case you don't get signed in uh, in this particular agency, now you will know what to do better. The agency will also ask you, apart from your name, location, they will also ask you what you do, your occupation. Are you studying? Are you in high school? Are you working? And also they would ask you questions like, what do you do in your spare time? So that they get a little idea about your personality just a little bit. The agencies will also be interested in models who are in the same city where the agency is located. But then it all depends on what kind of look they are looking for. Sometimes it's okay if the models live in a different city and if they can travel for the work that they are assigned for. But it all boils down to what kind of look the agency is scouting for. 
any special uh, feature, any facial structure, a particular body type. Then the agents will definitely ask you for your profile videos. Either they will ask you to mail it to them or if you are in the agency itself, they will take your profile video by asking you to pose in those three particular ways that I've already explained it to you. One is portrait, second profile which is your left angle and your right angle and the third is your full length. Once your profile videos are shot, then the agency will definitely want to see your body type. So make sure your body is toned, your skin is flawless, your hair is in good condition. Now, before you jump into modeling, you are taking care of these three very important things. Doesn't matter, it is not really important even if you are not modeling. It's always nice if you take care of these three important things because these are the only things we have to live with for the rest of our lives. Don't you agree on that? So it's better if we start early. The agency, once they have taken your pictures and videos, will tell you that they will be in touch with you. Now what they will do with your pictures and videos? They will speak to the other agents who are a part of the same agency to get more of a second opinion and they will ask questions like what do you think of this girl or, or of this boy? Do you think they would be good for our agency? If there's a requirement for this kind of particular look, then definitely the agency will give you a call. And if it does not work out, please do not be disappointed because there are so many other modeling agencies where you might get selected and also you'd like to work with a particular agency or agents who believes in you, who will be able to provide you placement. If you are signed in by the agency, definitely they will contact you on your phone or through an email and set up a meeting. Once you come down for the meeting, they will hand you over the contract papers. But before you sign the contract papers, please go through the clauses, the terms and conditions, the rules. Once you have read and understood clearly, you can put your signature along with your valid documents. So make sure you have your valid documents with you and you're signed in. So this were some of the do's and don'ts when you go for a modeling open call or an audition for models in any modeling agency. So this was it for today. I hope all of you enjoyed and learned something from this, especially the aspiring models. So next time you go for a modeling open call, you know what to do. If you have any queries or any concern, you can put it in the comment section. And also if you want me to talk on a special topic related with modeling, beauty, fashion, grooming, please put it on the comment section and I'll definitely make a video of it. Thank you so much for watching.